Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. Welcome back after a long weekend of so many CSGO news stories out there. Hope you guys all enjoyed today's episode. All today's stories will be marked down below. First, I do want to talk about Navi changes. Then we'll go into a long segment about all the cheaters throughout the European and American qualifiers so far. We have never seen to this extent this many cheaters, but really, can you blame them? We're going to find out that in our second story. But first off, I do want to talk about Navi changes. And of course, many of you guys have heard about seized allegedly according to Nell and of course, inside sources. It's been confirmed, but apparently he actually asked himself to be let go off the team. He is currently on their bench waiting to be bought out by some other team out there. Of course, he's probably in somewhat of a high demand of uh, many teams out there struggling right now in the European scene. So I'm sure Seeds will be picked up by someone. The more important question though is who's going to be replacing Seeds on that lineup and will he be their last change? Will a player like Flamier or maybe Edward be replaced in that lineup as well? Many of you guys responding kind of with uh, some a uh, little bit of uh, hatred there when I actually tweet out about maybe future changes involving more than one player. So Seeds right now is off the bench. He's actually on the bench and who can replace him? We have people like Mir from Vega Squadron or Electronic from Flipside. Please get that guy out of there. We also have Angel from Team HR. So there's many options out there for Navi. And of course, I think we all can agree they needed changes. Alongside them, though, teams like NIP and many teams out there need these changes. We'll talk about NIP, though, in a little bit. Now on, though, to our second story, guys. And the big one for today is the big cheating scene out there right now, especially in the qual qualifiers, the European closed qualifiers it is for our next major, going to be hosted by E-League in January. And of course, uh, and the major going to be a big event when you have an open qualifier like this or even a closed qualifier you expect some cheaters but when you go from the open to closed qualifier you expect far less cheaters and this year and for this major particularly we have seen a huge increase in cheaters I'm going to show you guys several clips now and videos of the teams that did cheat as of right now we have four to five cases there could be more out there that I did not catch guys and this is just in one European closed qualifier so first off let's start off guys our first team one of them actually known by planet 10 OG they were actually caught cheating on stream as well and many of these public bans were actually done, yes, on live stream publicly. So it was kind of cool to see that they were caught on live stream. But then again, it also makes the whole tournament, the whole closed qualifier, look very, very sketchy. You know, the fact that we had so many cheaters getting involved all at once. Do you okay, have your guys, demo ready? Yeah, oh, you shut demo? the fuck up, you fucking bald idiot. Just tell me what okay. the <laughs> hell is supposed to will ask a question, or I will ask a question. Why you cheat, and why we cheat? Yeah. It's tell like, me the difference, wait, what wait, a fucking wait, piece of shit. Wait, oh, before what? you just... It's like half or half. You cheat. I played, you cheat. I played a lot the of players in this game. Is, the problem is even the people saying this and the cast. I played a lot of players too. No, no one is, is like saying I'm Google cheating. The what they cheat. So that was Soda, the team member from that team who was actually caught on top of that. We also had Invictus Achaeus. They had a long apology post because that organization had no idea one of their members was also cheating throughout the qualifier and later caught. That was member CIO and a really kind of a sucky situation for an organization who somehow did not know one of their players was cheating. They had a long post and an apology about that. On top of that, another member known as Kersey from a German team known as Team Optimistic was also caught cheating live on live stream, guys. So here's that clip very shortly as well played on screen for all of you. And it was kind of funny to see the casters reply to this. I'll sh maybe show these clips at the end of the video, all the casters who had the responses because of course throughout the open and closed qualifiers you have a long string of random casters out there and their reactions to seeing players that are actually banned in game live on live stream is just hilarious to listen to. But on top of that, more even importantly, throughout the European qualifier of course we have many teams who are highly expected to make it through. Optic Gaming, one of them who actually did qualify, Space Soldier as well. I'll show you guys a list of eight teams that did go through uh, to that European minor as of right now. But NIP will not be one of those teams. And this is actually actually a, a big topic this weekend. I tweet out multiple times about this. NIP has officially lost their magic, which was kind of surprising earlier this year, actually back in, I believe, in July. DreamHack Valencia, they made that long run there against some, some you know, lower lower tier teams, but still ended up winning DreamHack Valencia there. And until then, though, we have really not seen much of NIP ever since their changes made to that roster, and we have now seen the full mental breakdown of this team. They've actually lost to a lower tier Swedish team throughout these qualifiers, known as Team 5. They got brutally beat down by that team after taking a 5-0 lead I think they lost 16 to 6. They lost 15 rounds straight. On top of that, though, they also were actually eliminated officially by a Polish team, and that Polish team, known as Team Pride, knocked them out officially of the qualifier, and they actually in turn made the minor qualifier. Team Pride did. And in other news, besides NIP and the, the following Magic, what do you guys think about that? Leave a comment down below. We now have two rising Polish teams, one of them being Team AGO, the other team being, of course, Pride, who knocked out NIP. And these are very, very impressive teams, although it is online, guys, and a lot of talk out there of moving these qualifiers to a LAN event, because of course, 
course that would prevent many of these upsets and these no-name teams from actually making it. I kind of like the qualifiers being online, but besides the cheating, it kind of makes for upsets. It makes for a really good time uh, throughout these best of ones, for having some off chances of some no-name team to actually qualify. But speaking of these Polish teams, we could actually have a problem in the future because many of you guys know Virtus Pro struggles. So my fear right now in the next few months with these Polish teams, AGO and Pride taking a rise, if they do continue to do well throughout the minor or maybe the major qualifier, if they do make, make that as well, we could see Virtus Pro try and pull these players away and actually to actually give you guys a string of games for these two teams. We had AGO, of course, they actually made a most impressive run of any of these teams. They beat teams uh, like Godsent, Hellraisers, and Kingwin to qualify, and then Pride beat teams like Team 5, the Swedish team, and of course knocked out NIP and killed LDLC. So these are very impressive Polish teams, at least for the online qualifiers, and the European qualifier ended in great fashion, guys. And so again, I'll show you guys those last few teams. But now on to our American qualifiers, where we solidified which teams are moving on. Really no big surprises here, as teams like Liquid, NRG, CLG did qualify. Some surprises down low, though, as we did have some surprising uh, Brazilian teams make it. We did have two teams qualify from the Brazilian region, and yes, none of them were actually Team Immortals. In shocking fashion, Team Immortals with their new roster guys got beat out by the fellow Brazilian teams on screen for all of you, and it was very, very surprising as well because they actually got beat out in their final game by French Canadians. That's actually Sabrosa's new team, the French Canadian roster there, and it actually dominated Immortals on their last map. It went to a best of one to decide who was actually going to be that final team to make the American minor, and yes, it will actually be French Canadian team. We also had Bolts from Immortals. Very, very angry tweet, I think. If you take it in the right context here, guys, I'll show it on screen for all of you. As he did call out Sabrosa for the good game, but then he kind of made the jab of you never show half of that effort or half of that skill when it comes to a land. So that's kind of his probably hint at, yes, we want qualifiers for the majors, of course a big event. The qualifier should probably be at a land as well to make sure that this kind of thing does not happen. But I, I really kind of think that was also kind of a jab, maybe him calling out for maybe saying that Sabrosa was kind of sketchy. Maybe he, maybe a bolt thought he was cheating. What do you guys think about that? But that's going to do it for today's episode of CSK News. We have a lot of minor information out there right now guys the American minor finished the European minor finished everything's kind of actually coming together and real quick shout out to Don Hossi for all of you guys who are wanting the, the updates as of right now for the minor I'll show that on screen from his tweet guys and that's going to do it for today's episode of CSK News hope you guys all enjoy who do you guys think is going to make for the major qualifier what, what team should we watch out for should we watch out for a Polish team AGO or maybe a Swedish team out there some that's not NIP who should we watch out for guys who's going to be a surprise for this major hope you guys all enjoy it I will see you all in a couple days remember my name is Jake Mariah like you I'll see you next time Van a for cheating, Kerce, ojito. Oh, oh, Kerce, van a for cheating. Vamos. Vamos. Conseguido.